Today, let's create a sticky illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today, we will create a nice sticky illustration in Adobe Illustrator using some very simple technique. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. So without wasting any more time, let's actually jump into the tutorial and get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a new document. I'm gonna call this sticky. And for the width, let's set this to 1000 and height to 1000 pixels and hit create. Here we have our document. I'm just gonna copy the color palette from my original work. Hit control C, control V. Just place it like so. Make sure the snap to pixel grid or any point, anything like that, just keep that off or unchecked. And let's start designing our artwork. So I'm going to select, all right, so I'm going to select the polygon tool. Just click to bring up the options. And for the side, I'm going to set this to three, hit OK. So we get a triangle for the color. Let's actually go with this one for now. Make this nice and big holding shift and then rotate it. So now create kind of a play button and align it into the center make this really big maybe something like that and select the direct selection tool and make this a bit curvy just like so maybe i'm gonna make this a bit more bigger holding alt and shift at the same time and yeah this is looking pretty good all right now let's start creating that sticky shapes that we see in that we saw right over here you can see this really nice looking shapes and this is actually very simple using the curvature tool now the curvature tool i believe is is not present in the older version of illustrator maybe cs6 or cc i don't think it's available in that version so you will need a higher version of illustrator to use this tool or to have this tool into your toolbox all right so i'm gonna select the curvature tool and let's start building up our shapes so i'm gonna start from your Just like so I'm doing very randomly, but you can of course take your time to be as precise as you want. Just gonna keep maybe something like that big. And you can obviously tweak it later on as well. So you just try to create as less point as possible while doing that. So it becomes easier to tweak later on and hit control Z just try to be keep it maybe something like so and finally this last shape I'm gonna go with this one like that and maybe something like this let's actually close up this and I think I'm going to make the triangle a bit bigger. So I'm going to just scale this up a little bit and actually place it into the center. Now, if you don't see the line tab, you can find it under windows align and select this. Maybe bring this right over here a bit and just give it a different color so we can see it more properly. Put this back. So hit control shift and open square bracket or you can simply go into layers and just drag it below. So now we have that shape and it's not looking that great at the moment. So now we can go ahead and start tweaking it. So actually let's select the layer and now we can just move it accordingly. So maybe something like so. We can add points if I want to. Something like that maybe. There we go, looks much better. You can also delete points if you want to, depending on what kind of look you want to go with. Yep, everything else looks good. I believe I'm gonna just put this a bit and put this one here. Okay, so this is not that bad. I think it's looking pretty good. 
Now let's actually select the pen tool and start building up our bottom shape. So I'm gonna start just like so. Actually, let's make this a bit more curvy. And then right over here, I'm just gonna create a steep. Something like that. Here I can go with maybe something like oh and there we go I think this is looking this came out to be pretty good let's actually cover this up and now we can see in some places it's not proper so you can take your time and try to make it much better just select this and maybe i can move it right over here and tweak the handles a bit oh just like so just try to go with the flow of the shape now you may need some practice to do that but eventually you will get it Yep, this is proper this one looks good and yeah all in all it is looking very nice so now what i'm going to do is select the rectangle tool don't need any color for this i can just keep it white if i want to doesn't really matter and create a shape just like that so that we can cut up the or we can delete the unnecessary shape that we don't need so create something like that hold alt and drag it to create a new copy maybe i'll rotate it holding shift make this a bit smaller and place it right over here and one right over here all right then select it first of all let's actually select these two shapes and merge it or unite it just put this back again Control shift open square bracket and i can then select this 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 and go to shape builder hold alt and i can delete them just like so okay and there we have a nice shape now to make it a bit more better or nice i'm gonna add some sticky effect now this is the main thing that is going to create that sticky illusion is that white spaces that we have in between so let's go ahead and create that so i'm going to select the curvature tool and this is very random as i told you guys you can just take your time and by the way change the color to white and try to make it as random as possible so i'm gonna just create some dots right over here there we go maybe something like this something like this right over here and as you can see i'm doing it very quickly because it's very random and abstract kind of an effect so you don't need to be very precise the more precise you will be the more you know the less organic it's gonna look so just try to be random while doing it I, i'll say maybe i can create shape maybe something like that as well go here draw a shape right here as well and one right over here create a big shape here mm, i don't think it's looking good so let's actually we get a bit the main aim behind the design is to you know keep the flow going just like 
this and something like that is looking better just place it right over here yep much better actually i'm gonna make this shape right here i think yep that is looking much better select the curvature tool again and create some small details right here and one shape right over here as well and there we go yep i think it's looking pretty damn cool so pretty happy with this but now as you can see this are basic shape this is not actually transparent so to do that what i can do is actually select everything shape builder tool and hold alt to delete that so hold alt click alt click alt click just keep on holding alt and just keep on clicking to delete all the shapes so it becomes transparent there we have our really cool design now i see a defect right here so i can just fix this by putting it in select this delete it and yeah there we go looking much better all right so there we have our shape let's actually add a pretty cool gradient on this and for this i'm using this color palette i'll provide the project file in the description which is absolutely free to download so yeah you can get the same colors you can use the same colors if you want to or you can use different colors if you want to use different colors so let's add a gradient select the gradient tool and i'm gonna create add a gradient just like so maybe i'll drag it from here something like that and let's add one more point for this one actually let's create a swatches and i have already created a color swatch of this now to create a color swatch it is pretty simple all you need to do is select it make sure the color is right over here and then click on this icon which says new swatch and then hit ok so it's going to add a color swatch right over here so for the first color let's actually select this I'm gonna go with this one for the middle color. I'm gonna go with this one and for the last one. There we go. And as you can see now, our illustration is right of the bat looking pretty damn cool. I'm gonna do the same thing with the play icon or the play button, the play design icon, whatever you can call it. And as you can see, bam, there we go. We have this really nice look. Now to add a bit more detail, I can add some reflections as well. So let's select the pen tool select the white color and i'm gonna just create a line something like that and set the corners to a rounded corner or the caps to rounded caps and then again select the make sure to select it select the pen tool and add some points in between And then I can select the direct selection tool, select a point and delete it. So we have this really nice look. Same thing I'm going to do again. So I'll select it. Pen tool, select the pen tool. Hit A and delete this one. Okay, so this is looking pretty nice. And one more thing that I can do is actually select the curvature tool and add a really nice shape that will help us to add a bit more detail to this so something like that and select the gradient there we go now let's put this back so hit control shift open square bracket put this actually hit control z now i'm gonna select this one and the triangle shape builder tool and delete this outer space so we just get this really nice and simple design which looks pretty interesting as well also what i can do is bring down the transparency if i want to but keep it somewhere around there actually and then select this put this back hitting Control shift and open square bracket and then put this one back and then finally put this one back there we go looking very very nice now the last thing that i'm going to do is add a drop shadow to this so select the layer, go to effect, stylize and drop shadow. And as you can see, I've already set it to the previous settings. So 
the opacity is 15 x offset is 8 pixels y offset to 20 and blur to 20 pixels and hit ok and yeah i believe the illustration is complete as you can see very simple technique you can also do this using some text to create kind of a sticky text effect and it's a pretty cool technique i thought of sharing it with you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed it so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did if you want me to create more and more illustrator photoshop tutorials then do let me know in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative till then peace out I'm a star right, got a bark right, I induce pain, I am Luke Kane, mix a Bruce Wayne, I'm a dark knight, watch you stargaze, got a hard bite, I'm a dog of the leash, better talk right, bet I do this, not a new kid, been a student, you're a doofus, on a real, leave you clueless, when I shoot shit, style too crisp, and I let it all hang out like a nudist.